I'm be with y'all, and y'all watching Nola Zine TV right now. How do you manage to promote and market your music right now? Right now, I, I got I got my girl, Melanie Magic. Uh, she helps me out with a lot with a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Connecting to y'all, Nola Zine. You know what I'm saying? And you know a lot of uh, I got Nola Media too. He been trying to help me out too, so you know, and I got my cousin Speedy, that nigga, they, they, everybody been like, really like, putting their hand here, hand up, and it's been like, you know, multiple like, little bitty things that been a little bit helping me promote my music. What drew you to wanting to do music? Um, I always did like music. Like, when I was younger, I always had a real thrive and a real passion for music. I used to always sing a lot of songs. Always to listen to like dudes like Nas, Jada Kiss, you know, uh, Cam, a lot of up north dudes, Juvenile, Down South, you know what I'm saying? I listen to Wayne, I listen to uh, a lot of guys down there, you know, but I was more drawn into a lot of dudes up north. How did you come up with your name? Uh, I came up with my name from the theater, Broadway in New York, and uh, I made it short for b -way. so everybody know me as b -way. But I came up with that name because in a Broadway show, you know, a lot of people do a lot of performing, you know, and I wanted to be a person that really performed but, and put a lot of, you know, energy into my music. Explain your creative process, like in the studio. Uh, I, just, I, just, I just go in and I, I try to make sure that, like, my music have a lot of energy with it and I try to make sure that it have some type of substance and something behind it, you know? Because where I come from, I'm from out the Cali, you know what I'm saying? They call it a CP3, but I come from nothing but rough shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, you know, crime, a lot of violence, you know what I'm saying? I try to put that mostly in my music. Do you have a single out right now that we should be listening to? Yeah, I got GTB, it's called Getting Them Bags, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just come home from jail, you know what I'm saying? And like, the whole time I was up there in Angola, like, I was just thinking about how I'm gonna come home and get this money, you know what I'm saying? And like, most of my music is like, conscious or either, you know, dedicated towards women, but like, when I came home, I was so motivated into getting money to the point where it just came out, get them bags, you hear me? And, you know, eventually it, it, it became a little something, a little something. From doing that time in prison, did that actually give you more of a motivation to do the music? Oh man, it gave me a lot of motivation and um, a lot of things that happened up there and a lot of things that happened before I went there, you know what I'm saying, gave me a lot of motivation, like coming from the bottom and, you know, coming from the struggle, being locked down is hard, you know what I'm saying, like a lot of dudes up there, I left up there like, like you can see it in their eyes, like they really hurting, like they don't know if they're gonna come home or not, you know what I'm saying? So like I really think about all that, you know what I'm saying? I just really like took all that, bothered it up, and tried to push it out through this music. And do you also feel like your music is an inspiration for the younger generation? You know, a lot of artists, you know, will speak about drugs, sex, and violence. Like how is you how is your impact to the younger generation? I feel like my impact to the younger generation gonna be good, you know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like my music ain't all about just getting money or talking about drugs and sex and stuff like that. I got more like some conscious music too. I got something to really see, you know what I'm saying? For the kids to really like know what I've been through, you don't want to really go through, you know what I'm saying? Like it's really like something that will stick with you for the rest of your life and it will damage you mentally, you know what I'm saying? Man, are you or an artist that freestyle more or do you write your music? I'm an artist that really write more, you know what I'm saying? But I can freestyle. I do get on freestyle sometimes and I do different things with music, period. Like, you know, no matter whether it's hip hop, singing, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, going country, whatever. I just love music. And do you have anyone you collaborated with with your music yet? Uh, not no one that's really known. No, but I would like to work with a lot of like people like you know that's that's doing local music or up and coming artists and or uh, even famous artists that's out today, you know what I'm saying? I would I would like to work with a lot of people. Can you name up to about five artists from the area from New Orleans, Louisiana, whatnot, that you would like to collaborate with? Oh yeah, 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 I could definitely do that. Uh 
Gold, one of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I like to work with the little dude T10. I like his music too, you hear me? Uh, I take some with uh, Nut the Kid. He nice. You know what I'm saying? Um, young boy for sure, you hear me? Uh, and one more artist I see. Uh, I see uh, Wayne, you hear me? And how well do you take constructive criticism? I take constructive criticism very well, you hear me? I take constructive stip um, <clears throat> I take constructive criticism very well, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's dude saying I need more energy, why I need more uh, lyrics, you know, more, uh, what I want to say, wordplay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I take all that in and then try to work on it even better, you know what I'm saying? Do more. Just do more creative writing and things like that. Like, cause I had a creative writing player when I was in school, so like, writing never was a problem for me. You know what I'm saying? Being a music artist, what do you love the most and hate the most about it? What I love the most is that you know you can really express yourself through music, and people can really understand you through that. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I do create a song. But I created GTB, getting them bags. Like I just did a recent uh, show with Lil Music. And the thing I liked about it the most is entertaining people, getting people into your music. But the thing I hate the most about it is that, you know, you got a lot of people that's gonna hate. You got a lot of people that's gonna say things that that's really ain't true. You gonna have people that's gonna just downplay your music because they don't wanna see you make it, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you got people like, Y'all around, you know, it's always good. Um, have you ever dealt with performance anxiety? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I know. I, I'm. I, when I get up there, I'm. I'm I own it. I feel like I'm in it. I'm. I'm gonna do it my best. Are there any other business ventures that you're trying to get into? Yeah, I want. I want to do like. I want to do modeling. I want to do. Uh, I want model clothes, like advertise people clothes. I got one guy named. Uh, who is Jesus? He trying to get me to uh, do some some modeling right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely trying to venture off into other things. Now, if you weren't making music, what do you think you'll be doing right now? <sighs> the streets. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it all the way around. Like I'm, I can't do no job. I can't work unless it's you know I'm I'm like really like doing it myself. You know what I'm saying? I would be in the streets honestly. Do you feel like being a music artist is a job or Of is course, it's most definitely a job and it's something I love doing, you know what I'm saying? So, I would definitely treat it as a job. Now, tell me, do you feel like you have to move out your city to reach a certain milestone in your music career? I, I, I feel like, I feel like it, but I definitely feel like you got to get a buzz in your city in order to really like venture out, you know what I'm saying? I could definitely go other places like Houston, Miami, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? And it would be better for me. It, I most definitely would feel like it would be better for me to venture off. But I feel like, you know, if your city ain't feeling you, then what? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like the artists here are actually supporting each other like they're supposed to? Or? Honestly, no. They not. You know, it's in New Orleans, everybody like for themselves. So, I don't feel like artists are really supporting each other how they're supposed to because everybody really scared of each other. Like everybody, they really ain't scared. They just like cautious and you know that would make everybody like nah, I ain't messing with him. I ain't, you know, and everybody just out for themselves. So there's a lot of hate out here. So at the end of the day, you never know how it's gonna turn out. What would you be doing to actually help with that as far as? Support more artists. What what are you going to do to take that away from the music scene here? I feel like I'm gonna try to reach out to a lot of artists. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna let it stop me even when artists don't want to work with me. You know what I'm saying? It's still cool. Like at the end of the day, whoever wants to work with me, I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about sticking together in this. If you can date any female entertainer or music artist, who would it be and why? I would say 3D Not uh, because. I like her energy and I like her her lyrics, you know what I'm saying? I like her wordplay. I like her metaphors. But the main reason is why, because she's one of the young black artists out here that's up and coming, not just on the music side, but just on the business aspect all the way around the board, you know what I'm saying? And she really trying to like, you know, she I saw something on a on a, in a uh Instagram that said uh 
by the block back, you know what I'm saying? That just, like, you know, it did something to me, you know what I'm saying? You don't hear too many artists, especially females, talking about this type of thing. How are you feeling about the female artists in the music industry right now, and how is their position playing? Oh, their position playing out very well. You know, women running the world right now, so at the end of the day, you can't really, like, you know, you can't hate on none of them, you know what I'm saying? Even Megan Thee Stallion, like, she cutting up right now, you know what I'm saying? They holding their own, they holding their own weight, so, you know, big ups to all the women doing big things out here. So this isn't a man's world anymore? <laughs> Uh, I ain't gonna say that, you hear me? But at the end of the day, y'all, y'all, y'all got y'all foot on the neck right now, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> now, also describe your music using one word. Uh, great. Uh, su successful. Uh, positive. From you being from the Cali and having many musical legends from there, tell me why should people want to listen to your music? I feel like, you know, my music is more positive, you know what I'm saying? I feel like my music gonna bring more of a change, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, the things that I really wanna do and intend to do in the future that maybe they didn't do is gonna make a lot of things better. Are there any musical producers that you would love to work with? Um, right now? Man and Fresh, you hear me? Because he got the original sound from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I could definitely bring some energy towards that kind of music, that kind of producer, you know what I'm saying? That kind of, those kind of beats, actually. So what's next for you? Um, I want to do modeling, I want to do acting, I want to do a lot of things, you know, besides music. I want to, like, advertise clothes, which is up and coming, you know what I'm saying? I want to, uh, and build a business as far as my barber shop, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to my dude, Pluck Cuts, who cut my hair, you know what I'm saying? Tell the people where they can find you on social media and other music platforms. Uh, Bway812 underscore 228 and Bway Fanbase.